Hi everyone, this is Diane. We're hard at work today working on the pages for the Cheery House journals. Uh, it has started to rain here. It's going to rain for a couple of hours, so it might be a little dark. And it got chilly with the rain, so I put on my husband's fleece. I wear this around the house when I get cold. But we are going to get to work uh, on these. So I've been doing a lot of decorating. I did a couple videos decorating a couple of signatures. There are five signatures in each journal. Uh, one of these journals is going to be mine. Um, and I did a lot more work today. You can see I added some trims to the top and some of the sides and I did a lot today. So I decided in order to get a video done today uh, usually I will like work ahead a little bit and then prep things for the next one and then put them together with you. But if I prep the stuff for this journal, I won't have time to do the video. So what I'm going to do is, you don't need to watch me sew or glue. I might do some gluing, I don't know, but I'm not at my sewing machine. Um, so we can just look at the elements that I've already put in and work on getting them prepped. And then you don't have to watch me put it all together. So I thought it would be fun for you to see what I've done that you didn't already see. So we've already seen these two signatures. So I'm gonna skip them. You can see I did some of the prep work the other day on this. So I'll set this aside. And set this aside, and we'll get started on this one. I've got piles of stuff, some things over here, over here, that um, just to include or use as pockets and decorations. I've got uh, washi tape up here and little pieces here, and I've got trims over on this side and some things in the drawer. I have some sheets that weren't cut out yet, so these pieces are for this second journal. But we'll just do the best we can. So I'm going to cut out one of these, and like I said in the previous video, I don't know where this digital came from. I've had it in my digital files for a long time. It's just one piece by itself and I printed it for to a page. And I added a little tab, a little orange tab on there. Let's see what I have in my box of tabs. This is a printable one. might blend in too much. Let's try a brown one if we don't like the printable one. I think the brown one's better. This journal is unusual in many ways for me, but for one thing, each of the signatures is different. They don't follow the same pattern. So you'll be seeing some things in this signature that I haven't done in the other signatures. And it's really fun. They're simple elements, nothing extravagant that I've made up ahead of time. But I like it that way. I like the simple things, but I like it when things are layered and flippy floppy and sewn. So there's a lot of stitching in here. I'm gonna want a label. This is this label is from the same kit as that gingham tag that I just tried out. But this one is a sticker. I had trouble peeling it, so 
if I can't get it right away, we won't worry about it. Because I used a few of these in the first journal. Um, I'm going to put some glue on it just in case. Kind of got carried away with the glue. And then this will be sewn on. I might go through my whole bowl of paper clips. Got glue on my hands. Let's see what else we have going on on this page. All right, this is something fun. I took one of the house cutouts and sewed it as a tuck spot. You can tuck something in there, but also. I took some of these list papers, and there's two of them, and just <coughs> sewed it to the top, and you can tuck it in there so it doesn't flop around. Yesterday, it was cold and windy. Um, the night before it had snowed so it is spring but I wore my winter coat yesterday when I was out and about actually I got I got to stay home yesterday didn't I I don't remember I know I was out well, I went out to get my mail and I take a little walk around the block, so to speak. Just a short walk when I get my mail. I don't think I like that there because it blends in too much. So, I'll just do it on this side. And that will be sewn on. This will be sewn on, and I'll just tuck it into the same paper clip. And then on the inside here, I, th I think we s you saw that one, didn't you? Got an orange one. Oh, I did it with plain brown paper and cut these out. I thought that was printed paper. That's a fool your eye thing. I don't think I have any more of that brown paper, but I can use this. You didn't see me construct this, you just saw me sew it together. So this is five and a half. Kind of hard to tell how wide that was before I used my edge punch. But I'm going to cut it about two and a half and see what, how that works. Oh, I just build some of them on the floor. All right, seems kind of short. Oh, because I only have it at five. Oh, here it is. 
This is an old Stampin' Up! punch. Nope, EK Success, sorry. Old Stampin' Up! punches used to look like that. I got this at a yard sale. Or, uh, sorry, flea market. Not that it matters. I got it used. And then I took my two and a half inch punch, I think, it, no, two inch punch. Oh, it's still sitting out. And just punch some of these circles out. I have to cut some off so I can get close enough to those circles. Wasn't quite close enough. I don't want to get too close so that I cut too much of it off. There's one, and I will just glue that on there. It looks like about the right width. I guess I did that right. Mm, let's see if this one has enough. Nope. This one doesn't have enough room around here. Well, we've got one down here we can try. So I won't take the time to glue this all together, but I will. Oh, they're the same thing. I think they're a little too big, actually. Yeah. So we'll do something different on this. I'll put that in the center, or this one in the center, because I like that one. And I don't know what I'll do on those ends. We'll figure that out later. But when I go to put it on the page, I will sew on this edge here, and then I will sew on the bottom. And you will be able to tuck something in there. Same size. I think this is bigger. That's the problem. We'll figure that out. Okay. It's not really a problem. It's a challenge. Let me skip to something you haven't seen because apparently you saw some of the things I did in this signature too. See all this stuff in here? You saw these things, I think. And that. I added that. Oh, I've got to sew around that. I just glued it in the middle. I added fabric there. There's the fabric flip. Just added a couple labels there. I'm going to do some stamping probably there. Yeah, you saw this. Most of it anyway. You saw this yesterday. And you 
you saw that one. This is something new. Um, I'll take a piece of that, but from a let me see. I think it's in this pouch with numbers. I've had this Stampin' Up! paper for years. This little, and it had pages of the colored ones and pages of the brown numbers. I just keep cutting them up and using them. All oh, the rest of the paper's gone, long gone. I'll just cut out a row of three. that will get sewn to the top and then here I just have two embossed pieces sewn and I tucked in one of the patchwork houses I guess I had it here you could tuck something behind too I'd, I'll have to print more of those patchwork houses I wasn't sure if I would use them all in one journal but I'm pretty sure I don't have any more big ones so these are what I have already embossed. I like this tin type, but this one didn't do a very good embossing. I'm just gonna toss it because I never use it. So this one might be okay color wise. That tin type didn't work either. I think I was still trying to figure out what kind of sandwich to use to get a good embossing, get a good impression. Film strip, gears. This one I didn't emboss, it's just embossed paper that I think I got in a bunch of other papers or in a Happy Mail. None of these tin types are good. I don't want to throw these big pieces away. I might use them for something. That's like a extra deep embossing folder. So I had to learn how to do that one. It, it's beautiful when it's done right. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I do like that. That, that is the tin type done right. But this was on a paper that has a white core, so the white core shows through, but I don't mind that. For this project, I don't mind it. I'm just going to tear it. these will be sewn onto this page. Wait, this might be a giant house. Yes, there is another one. Here I took a business envelope, a security envelope. I've got some right here. I really like the pattern on that one. I like that one. Here's the same one. Let's see if it's if there's enough envelope there to use. So what I did was I 
cut it. And I can make things, punch those pieces out or use them in collage. I don't want to waste that pattern. And then cut. part off. And just kind of neaten up the edges. This might be a little smaller. Just a tiny bit, and I will sew it so it's a pocket here. This is not cut straight. Oops, probably, probably that's what happened. It tipped. That's better. Sew it there, and on the back, I used one of the stamp. They look like stamps, they're part of the kit. And then these little scraps, they were just little squares left over from something I cut. So, I'm going to find a couple little scraps to use. Those two just happened to be laying on my desk. But because I did that, now I have to go hunting for some more. But I think the two that I have out there will be good. I like this with the scalloped edge, so I'm gonna leave that. Obviously, I punched it for something. I will sew these pieces to the envelope before I sew the envelope to the page. And I'm not liking that gingham because it blends in too much. I'd like a color other than red since I already have red, there's a gingham. That might be better. This looks homey. Yep. So, there will be a pocket here and a pocket on the other side. Do I have a card? 
should have cards. I thought I divided the cards up. Maybe I used them all in the first journal, in which case it's going to have to share. Well, I will look for a card later. But it's got a card and I just glued that to the back of it. Decorated the inside a little bit. Here is a piece of that house fabric and I added some lace and some bias tape. Yellow gingham bias tape. Looking for my house fabric. Sorry. Okay, so that's that. And here's a piece of the lace. So the lace is a pocket also. all I have left of this yellow gingham ribbon or bias tape. I had yellow and blue and red and I, I have I have a bit of blue left. I think the red is gone and I didn't get them all at once. They're just things I found at flea markets here and there. But I thought they were so cute. And they come in handy sometimes like now. Pin all of these together. be doing the prep right now. I might do some more stuff here and um, I'll save, I'll put it all together tomorrow. I have these blue tickets here. for fun. I'm going to glue that down because the tickets are curly and it makes makes it pop up. So I'm going to glue this and then I will stitch it along the side when I do that part. help keep the tickets flat. I'm 
And then I just added some tickets on this side, just for fun. Not tickets, arrows. Some of these arrows I cut with my Big Shot, and some of these were die cuts. I'm not sure what they came with. Isn't there a saying that says all roads lead home? So these arrows could be pointing home. just wanted some that had the right colors and looked whimsical. Which ones should I use? Maybe those. zip this up so they don't go flying when I move my pouch. Those I can glue down right now. Oh, it's not where I wanted it. Goodness. I will put my window, my photo thing in here because it needs to be inserted somewhere and we can find a piece of furniture to go on it. Excuse my reach. Okay. Something not too big. It's probably smaller than I want. Maybe that. I can trim that up later. We'll just make that smaller and it will be attached to this, just like we did with the other one. And this will get sewn in like a page. And I have to make sure, oh, this one has the opening on the edge. So this is how it will go. I'm just going to paper clip it to help hold that crease down. And I guess that's all we have for this signature that you didn't see already. I'll just, um, well, let me, I did want to get my trims prepped too. bought a big thing of that at Hobby Lobby on clearance a long time ago. That and a green one.
think I like it better that way. So this will be on this side. That, and I'll pick out some papers to finish filling that in. This is a Mary Engelbright stamp that I colored in. I think it'll be fun to go through and just start sewing away and getting all these things added in tomorrow. Is it 3 o'clock or 4? 3. Seems much later. So I'm doing well today, getting things done. I'm almost done reaching my goal with my Fitbit steps, but I stopped doing that so I could get this video done. I have less than 800 steps to go right now. Next signature. We have a paint chip pocket. I've got my paint chips over here. Pretty sure they're in this pile. I just piled everything up that I might need. These papers should be over here. don't see the paint chips. There's a greeting card. Where did I put the paint chips? Hmm. Did I put them in a drawer? Nope. Oh, I think I see them. They got pushed out of the way. We've got this rust color one and a blue. Don't want to use pink. The blue stands out better. And a Mrs. Cog's quote. There is nothing like staying at home for real comfort. It's from a Jane Austen book. And I was sorting through my photographs, old photos, and um, cabinet cards yesterday because I have way too many and I thought to myself because I had so many there is no reason for me to not put old photos in every journal and I found some that were homey <coughs> either had a house pictured on the front or a cozy looking interior there's a family standing by their door and here is a beautiful A-frame kind of a house. Isn't look at that. Very steeply pitched. And a little child on the sidewalk. And this is a lovely interior. I just love this picture. So I think the bigger one will go in this pocket. I just glued the paint chip down, but I want to sew that on first. I 
thought a paint chip was appropriate to use for a house journal. And then I have this, oh I got that, that must have flipped up when I sewed this on the back. There's another photograph, Let's see if I can fix that. This is something I got at a flea market. this photo to become the pocket on the back. Might be a little big, but I'll just trim that um, edge a bit on both sides. I do like the white, what is that called? It's not a margin on a picture, but you know what I mean. I like that because it's definitely vintage looking. So that'll be sewn there. These things will be sewn on this side. And I'll put one of these photos in the pocket. I might look for a bigger one that shows up better in there. But for now, we'll tuck that in. I wanted to talk about this pocket because I just got some new dies. And I will leave the link. These are both from Amazon, but they're from Maddie's. I was going to bring the packaging in with me. Let me go grab it. Matty's Crafting Joy. So if you look for Matty's Crafting Joy store on Amazon, it'll pull up. I have, I've had other um, dies from her store, but she has other things too. But um, this is slot corner pocket. And this is pocket tag set. So obviously, it just cuts the, the die cuts this piece out, and I stamped down there. I'm going to do that now. I can find that stamp. Here it is. Because it'll be easier to stamp it before I glue it in. It's a tree with a tree swing. We used to have a tree swing with a wooden seat that my dad made. And we had a tire swing too. That was fun. smudge. So 
So tomorrow is opening day of the Barnes Flea Market, the Tioga Downs Flea Market. It will be cold in there. It always is cold on the very first Saturday that I go. Uh, throughout the season, they're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but on their opening weekend, it's only Saturday and Sunday. Otherwise, I would have gone today. Because to, today's Friday, as I'm making this video. Um, then I have another paint chip right there that it's that's shaped like a house. I just stapled fabric to it. And I have another one of those cards that I printed. Oh, I didn't realize how long I've been going. Well, I will show you more of what I've done and then we'll end the video. I won't prep anymore. I'll just show you what else I have to do. There. Okay, so I just added a trim there, just uh, some pieces sewn on there, scrapbook paper and a merchandise tag, and there's a label down there. This is from, I don't even know what book it's from, but it's like a, it's a rug hooked rug maybe and it's got a house and it says welcome so I just made that into a pocket this is another uh, security envelope and I just decorated the front with a journaling card and over here I just added some strips Put a journaling card and washi tape on the back of that. Uh, this is just a cut off piece of a printable paper and I added a couple little scraps and a print of a stamped label and one of those digital patchwork houses. And this has journaling card stapled on it. And then this is the last signature put a little eyelet here and a stamped journaling card with a little label a little tuck spot here with some other printables this says home is any four walls that enclose the right person and a printable number some embroidered trim I took a Mary Engelbright envelope that went with some of those cards that I've used and just stitch the flap there. Put a little journaling card in here. There's the flip. Just stitched a little piece of fabric up there. Home is the best place when life begins to wobble. I love that. And this is the pocket that I just showed you. So there's a, I just glued it down flat. There's a tuck here and a tuck here. I could have made this a little tuck, but I didn't. So this will just have something small in there, obviously. And I don't know what I'll do to the back, if anything. But that's pretty much everything that I've done in these journals. There's there might be some things that you didn't see yet, but I think I'll be on my own for the rest of it. And we'll talk about binding. Uh, I don't know if I'll talk about that after it's already done, but I'm thinking about how I'm going to sew it into the cover. Because I know I struggled with that first journal I made, really struggled, because there's no spine. It's all just flexible fabric, and I was still a pretty new journal maker at that point, and that was like... Um, seven years ago I think I made that journal so I'm thinking of how I'm going to do it and I will talk to you about that in another video I hope that you are having a creative day today and I will see you soon bye bye